Hey everybody, Steven here playing Subnautica Below Zero, and today we are looking at the latest updates. So, got a bunch of stuff we're going to cover. The first one here is they've upgraded some things with Marg's greenhouse, so let's go ahead and float in here. You can kind of see, um, and actually you can see the first part here, which is they've added a bunch of vines to the top portion, which looks really, really cool. And then as we float in here, we actually finally have the indoor grow beds which looks awesome and then um, they've shifted the height of the indoor planters the wall planters so that has changed um, we also see that the door on the locker here is gone and then the fridge is open nothing in it right now um, so curious to see what they actually put in that I'm assuming she'll have an animation maybe putting stuff in it but we have that uh, then we have some of the plants in the indoor grow beds as well. But the vines look really, really cool. I'm wondering if they'll add more or not. And then this locker over here is partially open too. So that that's the biggest updates to her greenhouse right now. So moving in the right direction. I'm wondering if we're going to see some stuff in these planters as well, hopefully. Looks like they took the glass off of them as well. So yeah, we don't have that glass there. So that is the first thing that we're going to cover here. Let's get out of here. So the next thing is, somebody finally informed me what the minimap update was. Which is if you go to the Rocket Island, and then you go to the Rocket Base, when you're in front of the minimap, if you scan it, it actually takes it and throws it into your PDA. So let's do that really quick. And that'll help anybody. I mean, I've played the game enough at this point that I don't really need the map, but um, any new player starting out, this can definitely be helpful. There it is. So now you have it in your map and you can see these points of interest that we can go to. Research Base Omega, where we're at. Uh, wondering what that's going to be. I know obviously it's in the Glacial Basin, but that doesn't look like that's the Snow Fox base. That might be, well, the Frozen Leviathan's over here. So I don't know. Uh, research Base uh, Zero right there. So, we have that in game now. now. Let's get back into free cam mode. The next big thing, um, they've updated the cave leading to the precursor warp gate base. I guess I don't know if that's the name of it. Just it has one of the warp gates there. But we had our cabling here, and then it just lead to a cave. But now you actually have to cut open the ice. So that is blocked off right now. So we have that. So that's new. And then once you go in, the whole cave system is different now. So let's go get a sea glide. Look at this. Let's see what music is playing. Yeah, so we have the glacial basin uh, underwater music, which is standard for any of these caves. So let's move through here. I like the look, by the way, so if I turn off the light, I like these. Just the green glow that they have looks really, really cool. Oh, hold on. Oxygen. There we go. Almost drowned. All right. So now we can, I'm wondering if, I don't know if they'd put any creatures down here. Probably not, but as we navigate through here, we'll end up at the um, elevator that leads us up to the Precursor base, and they've actually fleshed that look out as well. Looks really, really good. So, I think they'll put more plants, just like the other cave system, underwater cave systems in the Glacial Basin. up here, We've got a bunch of rocks that have been added. Let's climb the ladder. 
so we have all the rocks and we have heat fruit down here and I can't remember the lights are here I think these are new as well so all of this has been updated supply grades all right looks really good and there we go elevator is working and so this same thing has been updated if I remember correctly those are stalactites right so we have all of that and then going in here, same thing, we have just, we have the rocks, we have, um, I don't know, the little shelf with ice areas here, the stalactites, you have all that stuff that's been added, because this was just kind of a, a blank room. And this will still take you back to the Snow Fox base, by the way. And then we have our exit, which, what is that, that path? And so the cave system out of here, too, has been updated. So it's not just blank tunnel. Now we actually have all this stuff in here, too. So it's looking really, really good. And then we exit out to, to the, this, the Arctic Spires. You hear the ice worm there. So that's been updated. Looks really, really good. They've actually added some music, too which is what we're going to go look at next to the caves. We have two new tracks. We have Safe Cave 1 and 2. So let's ghost in. This will start out as the Temperate Cave music, and then it'll switch. And I have, so I have F1 pulled up that's just giving me the info here. So you can see it says um, Glacial Basin, temperate cave in terms of the music and then eventually it'll click over now I'm going to do music skip let's say skip track there we go <clears throat> so it says music biome glacial basin temperate cave it says plane biome Glacial Basin, Temper Cave, Track, Safe Cave 2. So I'm just going to let that play for a second. So really just almost like a soundscape, right? It's it not like a song like we hear some of the other biomes, just kind of that repeating sound. I like it though. It definitely sets a, a a mood or a tone to the cave there. Go back to day. Let's go free cam. Now let's go into this other cave here. So I know this one should give me different track so it'll start dark cave so the dark cave soundtrack has already been in game there you go now it switches so it's dark cave but in this track safe cave one so same thing I'm gonna let this go ahead and just play
so that is that track. Um, I was just thinking too, it's like, I don't know if anybody's gone to yoga or had a massage. It sounds like music that they would play during that. <laughs> um, but I like it. I think that, and this, out of the two, I, this is probably my favorite, the Safe Cave 1. Probably my favorite out of those two new tracks there. Um, so we have that. And then let's go back into Free Cam here because I forgot they added Icicles to uh, Emmanuel's, is it Emmanuel? Emmanuel? His bass. There we go. So this thing has been changed as well. So it's all frozen over. So we see the icicles on the outside here. Let's float in the side. That's crazy looking. That looks really cool. So his particular base has also been abandoned and frozen over. I like that observatory, the cracked glass and all that. That looks really cool. Let's back out, get a good view of it. That looks pretty cool. So now it'll be the fun part of un uncovering what happened to everybody. But that's going to be it for this video, so... Ooh, cool storm. Um, that's what they've added so far. They've done more bug fixes, obviously. Um, a lot of stuff with the hover bike that I've seen. Um, some stuff with the thermos and a couple other things. But for right now, that's what they've added in this week. Hopefully we get some more story chunks here pretty soon as well. Um, we'll see. Uh, I don't know when the next major... EA act or the early access update is going to actually launch. I haven't seen anything on Favro. If you guys see that, because you guys have been a tremendous help with letting me know updates with that as well, so I can try to make sure I share it with everybody. But uh, if you guys see anything, let me know on the Favro site. I got to double check today just to see as well. But as of right now, we don't have any news on when the next EA is actually going to release. And people keep asking, when do I think the game is going to launch? Personally, I think anytime between. I was saying June, but June's just right around the corner, so probably not June. My best guess is probably closer to September for launch, um, and they finally are working on the console as well. I've been seeing some um, changes with that. I mentioned that in the last video where we had some performance issues, and that was actually because they were porting stuff over from uh, the original Subnautica to help with the port of Below Zero to consoles. But uh, that is going to be it for this video. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.